used to work for a very large org organization in the city of Toronto, and the CEO, uh, 2,500 people worked in this organization, and the CEO would come in every morning early because traffic in Toronto can be quite bad. So he liked to get an early start of his day, and he would walk in, and the first thing he liked to do, as many people do, is he wanted to get a cup of coffee. So he would go into the kitchen, and as you know, first person arrives in the morning, invariably the, the dishwasher is hopefully clean. Now, I don't know about your organization, but I've been in organizations where there are some coffee cups that haven't been out of that dishwasher in about 15 years. <laughs> the reality is, is the person whose favorite coffee cup that was resigned 10 years ago, and because no one ever actually empties the dishwasher, right? We open the dishwasher, take the cup that's our favorite cup, and we use it, and at the end of the day, it ends up back in the sink, then someone takes it for the sink. So if no one takes the favorite cup out, it just sits there and gets rewashed and rewashed and rewashed. So Bob would come in in the morning, he'd get his cup of coffee, and while he was making his coffee, he would empty the dishwasher. CEO, 2,500 people in this organization. So other people would come in, they'd see Bob emptying the dishwasher. What do you think they did? Think anybody joined in? Absolutely. The other thing that people learned was if you wanted to get a few minutes with Bob and you couldn't get on his day timer, the best thing to do is come in and help him empty the dishwasher. You could always have a conversation with Bob then, right? And, of course, Bob was a good guy because, you know, he interacted with people so nicely in the morning. Now, the interesting thing is I actually wrote an article about this. I sent it to Bob, and I said, hey, Bob, I just wanted to let you know I wrote this article about you. And his response back to me was, I wish I was that smart. <laughs> he was just doing what he did. It just never occurred to him that he would go into a, a kitchen, pull out a dishwasher, or open a dishwasher, take out a clean cup, and then just not put the rest of the way. It just never occurred to him. What kind of an organization do you think Bob built? Highly engaged. Now, the interesting thing is those 2,500 people that worked for him were people we pulled out of a 25,000 person organization called the Province of Ontario, and we created something called Service Ontario, and it is focused on service. And the people that wanted to work there recognized it. People used to, I, I used to get, people would complain because I would have meetings and the people in the room next to us would come and knock on the door and say, excuse me, would you keep it down? The laughter is distracting us. Because we were having fun. But yet, in six months, we took a problem that had been a huge issue for the, for the Ontario government, which was it used to take five to six months to get a birth certificate. Almost as long as to give birth itself. And we took it to a point, and when I say we, I certainly take no credit for this myself other than as part of the senior leadership team, we created an environment that allowed it to become possible, but the organization, the people in the organization now took it to 15 days and created the first money back guarantee in the history of government anywhere in the world. 15 days money back guarantee. That was because we created an environment where people were acknowledged and recognized and charged and challenged to do something more. But that was only because we got them committed emotionally and it was because of a leader like Bob.